Ladies and gentlemen, the next matchup will be the final preliminary matchup of, in, of the evening and will be followed by a brief 15 minute intermission. The next contest will be fought uh, in the Breakthrough Grappling Series Heavyweight Division. Our first competitor, representing Gage Town Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Gage Town, New Brunswick, Mark Fortner! And his opponent, Representing the Jungle Foul team in Sackville, New Brunswick, Christian Finney! Our last matchup of the preliminary card and then a short intermission after this, folks. Can you believe these are prelims, Dana? Oh, this has been awesome. I was just thinking, I can't wait for the main card. This is gonna be ridiculous. Now, Mark Fordner is a longtime judo practitioner, and, and just as a point of correction, uh, they're located in, in Ormocto, New Brunswick. They're called Gagetown Jiu-Jitsu because of the, uh, the Gagetown base, so they are out of Ormocto. Mark's a really tough competitor, great Jiu-Jitsu guy, very nice technique there, goes for the guillotine and ends up on top, but man, really scrambly work here from Christian. And Christian is no stranger to this, uh, this scene. He's fought many times here, and he is tough as they come. Absolutely. I, I mean, the Jungle Foul guys, I think they have three or four people competing on the card tonight. Uh, they have a great team, and congratulations to those guys on their, their new location in uh, Sackville. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, shout out to them. They have a great new space. It's huge. Every, I encourage everybody who's passing through town to drop in there. Absolutely. You'll never find a closed door in the maritime jiu-jitsu scene. Pop in and train. So real tough guy here, Mark. i, I got to imagine he has great top pressure with his judo background. That does not look like a fun cross face to be under. If you're a Christian, you gotta be looking to get some movement going here, get some frames back in front and try to win back that inside space. Because uh, if you let Mark advance, you are you are in for a bad day. 100%, and, and Mark's gonna be uh, a really solid in these top positions. You know, judo, so many years of judo, it's all about hold down, so he's going to be no stranger to how what it takes to pin someone. And that just cook you to death, you know, wear you right out. And Mark is an assistant coach on the Canada Games judo team, so if you think that he is a, if he, if you think that he doesn't have the technical knowledge to go along with his athleticism, you got another thing coming. That's right. Well, it just shows right there. Man, that was beautiful. Christian was getting close to an escape there and, and really nice way to maintain by Mark. Mark and his guard now. Yeah, that was a nice, really nice reversal there by Christian. And you know, with no points, really anything can happen. You don't get behind early. So we can't really see folks because of the action in the corner there, but there we go. They're moving back to the middle, back on their feet. Now, Christian took a big deep breath there. I'm sure that that's a little bit tiring, that, that last exchange for him being on the bottom, but I think they'll spend some time on the feet. He'll get his win back here pretty quick. Yeah, and I think a key to victory for Christian is not letting himself get put in bad positions from the feet. I think he really needs to respect Mark's judo game, but also be the aggressor and not because you can't wrestle on your back foot. No, 100%. And wrestling's not judo. As you see right there, that was a really nice shot there by Christian, and he, there he is in side control. And now he has a chance to try and cook Mark a little bit, but he really needs to start to look for that underhook position there. He is holding the hips. Mark's going to turtle here. Looking for maybe a guillotine? Oh. oh, Christian with the... Oh, Mark rolls, and Mark reverses position. Beautiful. Oh, I recognize that as an old judo reversal. That's a very nice move. Mark stepping into mount and scrambling to the back. Absolutely, very nice work. You know, a lot of people really work on flashy techniques, but a lot of the old tried and true techniques will get you where you need to go. Absolutely, like this rear naked choke here attempt that Mark has. 
That's looking tight. Forces and there's a the tap. tap. Right in front of us, too. Sorry, we got a good look at that one. Oh, that was amazing. Really nice job by Mark. On to the next round for Mark. All right, folks, we're taking a 15-minute break right after this uh, announcement here from Jeremy. Make sure you stay tuned in. Your winner by Mark Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for all of our competitors from the preliminary card tonight.